Hello, and welcome back to my RimWorld Alpha 14 Let's Play. Uh, we finally got some stone cutting and our research going. And uh, we did lose Paula recently. Uh, but I feel, I don't want to be too optimistic, but I am glad that uh, we have our research actually moving. We're already, you know, about a, a little less than a third of the way through our microelectronics basics. So. We really could use some turrets, that'll be nice. Uh, I did have an idea. I'm gonna go ahead and start setting this up. To, to keep, uh, so we were having issues with people bu uh, bursting through these uh, doors and bypassing this area. So I kinda wanna try and keep this enclosed so they have to come, you know, through this like bunker. They can't kind of break through here and start to go over here and, you know, basically we don't want another uh, Paula <laughs> incident to occur. So I was kind of thinking, oh, wait, hang on, let me make sure. Okay, Steve's in a psychotic state because Paula died. Uh, I think he's just going to wander around for a while, not really doing anything. Um, that's... It's not good, but it's not a it's not a berserk break, so it's not too bad. He's not gonna he's not gonna hurt anyone. So what I was thinking is maybe, um, like, oh, that's really bad. Toxic fallout. So what this means is anyone who's not under a roof is going to be sickened by the toxic dust. Um, and it can last for a really long time, over a month. That's not good. So, um, but the one thing about toxic fallout is that uh, it, I, don't, I don't think it matters if you're outside. The only thing that matters is if you're uh, under a roof. So you, if you have roofed areas outside, I believe you're still fine, you're okay. So um, maybe we should roof. Okay, let's. And the build roof area. I believe a building can support a roof up to six blocks away. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I guess we can't really extend a roof all the way over this seating area. So um, let me just see. What is the. Uh... Okay, we need to make a new area. So if we go to manage areas, we're going to make a new area. We're going to rename it Roofed. And then we're going to make another new area. Oops. Actually, we're going to make a new animal area. Can you uh, I'll change the colors? I guess not. We're going to rename it Animal. Uh, yeah, Animal Roofed. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and expand the roofed area so I'm gonna go ahead and expand it to here and just roof over that in case anyone needs to do tailoring if this gets built then we'll expand that over there as well so I think the way toxic fallout works is uh, when people spend time outside in the fallout they will, uh, it kind of progresses in bits and bits. You get um, uh, a health, a toxic, I forget what it's called, but you get some kind of a health debuff that builds and builds. And the more time um, you spend outside. So the way I, I generally manage it is um, keep just keep a really close eye on my on my colonists. And if they start to get too much of the toxin, then I... Um, restrict them back to the indoor areas. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let people go, but uh, I want to keep a close eye on their health. And if they have um, like the fallouts, if they de develop the fallout sickness to up to minor, uh, then I restrict them inside until that goes away. Is this actually indoors? No. Um, Let's get Alex to prioritize building um, the roof over here. 
so that uh, we can get people inside. It's, you know, probably a good idea just to, to get this done anyway. So our animals don't, you know, freeze in the barn. It'd be nice if you could have, um, like, I've, I've played games before where you can, like, sort of grab an area and say, you know, prioritize these tasks. Like, it'd be nice if I could just, like, flag all the roof areas in here to be, like, a number one priority task so I don't have to keep telling this guy, uh, uh, well, actually, uh, Alex here, so I don't have to keep telling her to keep doing this over and over again. I could just say, prioritize this roof. And then she'd do that. That would be really nice. But I believe... No, see, here's the problem. Now it's unroofed. But I don't know which spot it is. I think there's some kind of overlay or something for this in 15. Where you can tell where the roof roofs are and aren't. I thought it was that spot because it's kind of bright. But I think maybe that's just snow on the ground. There's not really a way to tell, unfortunately. That's pretty frustrating. There is, well, there is one way to tell. If you look over here and you mouse over a place that has a constructed roof, it'll say. So I guess I'll just kind of wave this back and forth. Look for a spot that's oh, right there. All right, Alex, right there. Oh yeah, you can kind of see the snow falling in that square. Uh, so anyway, back to what we were doing. Let me just check people's health. All right, no, everyone's fine. There's not any toxic fallout issues yet. Um, so limestone wall. So anyway, I want to wall this in. So if they break through here, there's still a wall. And then... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and this. So, you know, if they go through here, they do bypass all these traps, but then, you know, they still have to walk through this area. And I think maybe we will put, for now, just a wood door. Oh, wait, a, a wooden door here. So our, our people can walk through. And another thing I want I want to do is I want to go ahead and take these and just tell them to be auto rearmed. The the worry with these traps is that in, in it's been reduced in alpha fifteen, but in fourteen there's a kind of a, a too high of a chance that your colonists will accidentally um, get hit by their traps. I've had people like die from one hit from these traps but um i still think it's worth having it it's debatable but i'm gonna go ahead and go with that so and i will go ahead and also put a steel door here just to help um you know prevent make people not want to path through there so this is a lot of construction to, to, to get finished. What's Alex working on? Oh, they're asleep. Uh, Steve, I wish he wasn't wandering around outside because the toxic... So, okay, here we go. So he's got toxic buildup initial. And you can see that it says it's uh, at 7.4%. So I usually try to restrict them to inside once that gets up to around 15%. Uh, it goes from initial to minor and then... Um, it continues to get worse. The problem is, I wonder if it says here. Yeah, if you it doesn't say there, but if you get enough of a toxic buildup, um, you can get some permanent problem, uh, permanent issues. I think like dementia and stuff like that, like really bad stuff you don't want to deal with. So hopefully Steve comes out of this um, soon. Another annoying thing is when they're in a daze, they just keep dropping their their items, and when they drop them, they drop as forbidden. Which is a little annoying because you gotta go and flag them so people can pick them back up. So hopefully Steve doesn't get too 
uh, poisoned here. We'll just have to cross our fingers on that one. Initial, initial. It kind of depends on the person, sort of how. Um, so if Fox is going to stand here. We should really make this a uh, let's see expand roof build area. We should really roof this so that he's not just standing out in the fallout. And as soon as Alex wakes up. I think I want to go ahead and just get this done uh, now, just so uh, Fox isn't just standing out here. So we'll do that, and then we'll do that, and then this, and this, this, this. There we go. So now he, he shouldn't be increasing his buildup. We'll have to... Just keep an eye on this for a little bit. Still at 16. Doesn't seem to be going up, so that's good. All right, let's check. 4.9. 4 uh, you know, also, I'm gonna go ahead and zone, expand allowed area, um, roofed, and we'll just expand that to include this research zone so Fox can still um, do his researching thing. Alright, uh, so we have a couple things. Some hunter lacks weapons. Oh, that's because Steve uh, dropped all his stuff. Uh, he's got hypothermia too because he dropped his, his all his clothing over here. So hopefully he comes out of it soon and we can get him, you know, get his clothing back on and give him a weapon. So let's check Fox again. Yeah, see, it's dipping. Even though he's outside, he's under a roof, so he's not being affected by the fallout. Um, also, it look, looks like people are going to want to play... Um, let's see, I want to build... Let's go ahead and put like a wooden... Maybe a wooden wall here. And a wooden wall here. And then we'll say... Uh, we want to expand the roof build area to that. And then Alex um, build here. Here. Why can't I build a roof there? There, okay, so they're not standing out in the fallout. All right, let's check people's health. 6.9, that's not too bad. Ben has no toxic toxin yet. 15, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say uh, restrict you to roofed. Oh, and by the way, animals, you're all, you all should be animal roofed. Um, Cause you're, the animals will die from toxic fallout. Um, okay, you're already at minor and at 22, so I, oh well, you're dazed, so we're just gonna have to hope. 6.9. Okay, I think we're doing well, except for Steve, which we can't really do anything about. Um, these animals should should um, head inside pretty soon uh, because they're yeah. That one has malnutrition. Oh, because Anessa is a warg, so Anessa needs to eat meat. Right. So, um, well, the one upside to toxic fallout is that it's going to kill all probably all the animals on the map so it's you know we're going to be able to run out and get to get a bunch of free animal corpses to butcher or you know it can just fall from the sky that's fine um ben can you haul ben uh i'm going to temporarily unrest oh everyone's been restricted to the compound so Ben, can you please uh, haul this beef? And he should grab some of the surrounding beef chunks as well. And that'll help uh, our warg Anessa have something to eat as well as uh, 
you know, just have more stuff for fine meals. So, I, I, for, I didn't realize we were still restricting people to compounds, so that's probably why a lot of this stuff wasn't getting dealt with, so. Yeah, now Alex is going to be hauling steel. Is there more steel over here to haul? No, just the one. Could we? Okay, Alex isn't a hauler. That's fine. We'll just let you do that then. Is that all the steel, right? 43? Okay, cool. I mean, I, we don't really want people to be walking around in the fallout too much, but, you know. At, at least this way you allow them to, to get out there some. This is really bad. <laughs> this daze is lasting way too long. Okay, he just got out of the daze. So he should be moving inside. And these should go away. Yeah, the uh, hypothermia is going down. Uh, the other thing that would be nice is to zone a roof area here. So that when people are going in between these places, they don't have to deal with the fallout. Okay, you're still nearby, so please come over here and prioritize building this roof. I know Alex has like a lot of things to do, but it's really important to get people out of the fallout. For obvious reasons. Cargo pods. It's also nice to just keep the fallout low because oh, that's another thing that would be a good idea, I guess, is to um, build a roof Oh, we already have this tag to build a roof. No one's done it yet, so... Um, someone's in a terrible mood. Oh, it's Steve. Probably because... Well, his fiance died, so... There's not really much we're going to be able to do for, for Steve for a while. Um, we don't have any beer or chocolate or anything like that. So... He's probably going to just keep on breaking. Grab these. Alright, let's check people's health. You're fine. Um, restrict you to roofed. Alex, how are you? Uh, restrict you to roofed. I just like it to be 15 or below. You're really close, but we're just going to let that go for now. All right. Um, we're not going to wake Steve up to equip him with a weapon because... Um, that would be another negative debuff, which he definitely doesn't need. Now, really liking that we got this researcher. Because we're so behind on our research that this is going to help us gain some ground, hopefully. Boyle's hauling uh, steel to our stockpile, which I just noticed is also outside. Uh, what if we added this stockpile as well um, to the roof area like so that's really far away one two three four five six seven it might be too far um, so if we make a um, like a support pillar there I think that'll take care of it Actually, um, um, okay, good. We didn't. We did include that. All right, nice. Fo uh, Fox just fell asleep outside. Is is there not an open um, bed? Don't want people sleeping out out of doors, especially because it's twenty four degrees. Okay, this um, is no longer a medical bed. Don't sleep outside. All right. I just want to make sure, okay, we have Boyle, Alex, Steve, Fox, does Ben have a bed? Yes, okay, good. Just make sure everyone has a bed so we don't have people sleeping outdoors. Because you do get a debuff. Yeah, slept outside, slept on ground, slept in the cold. We don't want to have any of those. Um, <laughs> he's relaxing socially in here with Alex, which is probably giving her, uh, giving her a disturbed sleep, which it is. Right, it's pretty late. I think people will be going to sleep soon. 
Yep, resting. He's still playing horseshoes. More cargo pods. Ooh, uh, medicine. How are we doing on medicine? We have 34, so we're not we're not running out, but it's definitely good to have more. Uh, I just want to check around, and I feel like I missed a, a cargo pod message somewhere in there, but we'll just take a glance. Some, some gold sitting around in this field. Oh, maybe it was that? No, that's a dead squirrel. Oh yeah, that's that's. We need to pay attention to that. So, all these alpha beavers. See, they have moderate toxic buildup. So we just want to keep an eye on them because as soon as they just start to die out here, we will need to. It'd be a good idea to make people go out and grab them and haul them in so they can be butchered. Because uh, we don't really have too much meat, so it'd be good to have more of that. Two terrible moods. Steve and Alex. Alex. Uh, sick. Oh, because of the fallout. Your ears shot off. Wearing out a, a apparel. Hungry. Yeah. In darkness. In in darkness. Well, Alex's room actually has a light. So I'm not sure where she was to get that buff, that debuff, but it already wore off, wore off so it's not too bad. Um, let's check everyone's health again. You're at 12, you're fine, Steve. 27, but that should be going down. We'll have to keep an eye on that. He's no longer um, hypothermic, though, which is good. Alex is... Uh, uh, add initial, that's fine. Ben, 13, that's fine. 8, that's fine. Okay, so we're good. Who were we restricting before, actually? Alex, you're at 13, so I'm going to go ahead and unrestrict you again. Uh, we don't want you to research. Milking the muffalo. Oh, yeah, because I think uh, Alex has a... Uh, Animal handling set is high. Yeah, so Alex is our handler. He's going to go build some of these deadfall traps. I think for now I'm going to forbid these traps just because um, we have more important uh, tasks. And we're going to forbid this one. Can you focus on this door? So if we get a raid, we want to at least have this hall intact. So get that limestone door constructed. How you doing? 14, okay. Order line. How's your mood? Right. So, not great, but... Oh, okay, someone had a mental break. Steve had a mental break and is punching Boyle. So, can Boyle get out of there? Okay, we need... Alex draft please melee attack Steve draft melee attack Steve melee attack Steve okay actually I don't want people to melee attack because um, our guys have been beating the crap out of each other they're just like okay please he's trying to get boil okay fine I really don't like having to do this because our guys seem to have a habit of killing people with their melee attacks. That's another thing that they changed in 15, by the way. Uh, melee attacks are less lethal in 15. They do less damage, so it's easier to just knock someone out without killing them. <sighs> really not what we want to have to deal with right now. Especially because Boyle's our doctor. 
<sighs> Just knock the guy down. Oh my gosh, Steve's a, like a badass, apparently. Okay, finally. Alex, uh, rescue Boyle. Uh, ben, rescue Fox. And also, we can, we can go ahead and undraft everyone. I said rescue Fox. And then Alex, uh, rescue Steve. Oh, did I grab the wrong person? I, I think I must have. Rescue Boyle. So, hopefully there's nothing. Bruise, 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 that's fine. All bruises, that's fine. Why can't I select Boyle? I guess because he's being carried. Uh, you have a crack. That's not as good. But you are our doctor. I don't know if there's anyone else who's not terrible. Uh, well, anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. And then I will continue in the next video. So thank you for watching. And bye-bye.